Yes! Okay, that was the most evil way to say yes ever. Next time somebody asks me if I want Starbucks, I'm gonna be like, yes! And then they'll probably proceed to not give me Starbucks, but oh well. But we got some true story scary animations that we're gonna check out right now. So do not watch before bed, okay? Unless if like right now it's before bed, then you might as well go ahead and watch it. Only thing I need to watch is my weight. Oh uh, yeah, one day I'm gonna I'm lose that weight and I'm gonna keep it off. Like I kept your mom off. No, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm just kidding. All right, anyway, anyway. Everybody comment down below your favorite cartoon because we checking out some animation. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here we go. Number one. I do have to use the bathroom though, speaking of number one. <gasps> a disturbing true Snapchat story. <gasps> you know what's scary about that is that nobody uses Snapchat anymore. This is a short but terrifying story of something that happened when I was Snapchatting a friend. I'm pretty young. I'm only 13, still in dang. middle school. Dang, wait, hold on. You're 13 and your voice sounds like that, man? Dang. Come on, man. Your voice is deeper than mine, man. You ain't 13. Boy, get that out of here. Okay, in all seriousness, it's probably just a narrator, like, you know, narrating the story. Anyway. Had just recently started snapping me selfie pictures, and we started messaging Ew. each other for a few nights. What kind of food is that? One night when I was watching TV, she sent me a snap of herself laying in her bed without a caption. Ew. I sent a message saying, what's up? She sent freaks. another identical picture, this time with a caption saying, not much, you? Mm -hmm. She set the timer to 10 seconds, so it gave me plenty of time to analyze the picture, mm. including her bedroom in the background, okay. and the dark outline of a person standing by her <gasps> window. <gasps> Oh, heck no, man. Okay, that that's either like somebody who's out to get this girl or it's just a black man. You know, sometimes it's hard to see, you know, some black people at night. So, you know, that's probably just a, a man, you know, trimming the hedges. That's all. It ain't, you know, they ain't doing, they ain't doing nothing. <sighs> they're probably doing something. They, they're up to no good. I just know it. I quickly sent a response message okay. saying, is that your brother by the window? She no. sent another identical snap. This time captioned, what do you mean? <gasps> In this picture, the figure at the window was closer, <gasps> and I could see a hand <gasps> pressed up against the glass. <laughs> With the red eyes though, man. Gosh dang it, the person at the window's high. Man, they're higher than my grades in high school. Okay, that wasn't, that's not very high. That's actually low. This person's low. I don't know why this girl is still smiling. It, when you take selfies, you can see yourself in the photo so you know like what's behind you. Like what girl, come on now. See, like if there was something behind me, I would know it because I, you know, the reflection there that. Like I was saying, if there was something behind me, I would know it. <laughs> Get out girl. I closed the snap before the timer even ran out so I could tell her quicker. Why don't you call I her? I said, there's somebody at your window, turn around. Dang. She opened my snap almost immediately, and then I didn't hear from her again on the app. Man, he totally exposed the stalker. Passed. I texted her a few times to no avail. I tried calling her a few times Aww. to no avail as well. With the bunny on the back. I didn't know her house phone number, otherwise I would have called her parents. Why don't it wasn't you call until the cops? midnight when I was already laying in bed that she finally texted me back. She Ugh. explained the whole situation. As soon as she looked at her window and saw the person standing there, she screamed. And that caused the person, who turned out to be a 20-something-year-old man, to open the window and jump into the room. Oh, man, gosh dang it, man. See, this is why you lock your windows and you lock your doors. You hide your kids and hide your wife. Hide your wife. And gosh dang it, man, he's tracking dirts all over the carpet with them boots, man. Come on, wipe your shoes off before you go inside. Like, come on, man. From there, she ran to her parents' room and woke her dad who went to her room to find nothing but an open window. Mm -mm. Time to it move. It wasn't exactly a personal story of mine, but it freaks me out nonetheless, knowing that the only thing that saved my friend from whatever could have happened was, you. was the fact that I was able to see the window through her selfies, unbeknownst to the creeper at her window. Unbeknownst. I didn't even know that was a word. Oh man, gosh dang, I should probably get back to using Snapchat. <laughs> no, but seriously, man, I mean, dang, I mean, hey, good for him for, you know, actually warning the girl, jeez. And I thought Snapchat was just for sending, you know, weird, nasty, you know, inappropriate photos. Man, next time, lock your windows and do your homework. I sound like a parent. Hmm, anyway. Okay, another one. 
true pizza delivery horror story. Wait, hold on. Man, I mean, I imagine there's a lot of pizza delivery people out there who, you know, they have some horror stories. There's some sketchy, scary places that they have to deliver pizza to. But I mean, come on, criminals get hungry too. So, you know, what are they gonna do? They gotta eat pizza. They gotta eat pizza. Or, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm going through puberty. So, um, they gotta eat pizza. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Let's see, here we go. I was out doing a delivery one late night. Mm -mm. It was probably the longest drive I have ever taken for a pizza delivery. His eyebrows on point though. Gosh dang, if I could get my eyebrows like that, man, I'd be good. Navigating the dirt roads at night was always annoying though. Yeah. I pulled up to the given address. It was some old sketchy looking building, literally in the middle of a forest clearing. Nope. Not there doing were no it. cars parked anywhere or any lights on. Jeez. I put my car in park and called my boss. I asked him to reread the address at least three times to make sure I typed it in right. I'd be like, sorry man, I quit. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I was insanely unnerved but got Ooh. out anyway and forced myself to the front door of the building. There you go. There was no doorbell, so I just knocked really hard. That's right, because you're a man. I heard nothing and didn't really expect to hear anything. Yeah. That's... I was extremely disappointed. Not because nobody answered the door, but because I was realizing that it was all a waste of time and gas. Okay. I knocked one more time out of desperation. Whew. And then began to hear some kind of rustling noises from inside of the building. Um. <gasps> I knocked again and Stop. yelled that I was the pizza guy. Stop knocking! There was silence now. Jeez! I felt a bit more uncomfortable now than before. Oh, so now you feel uncomfortable. Around, I noticed something what? at the window. There was someone looking through the window. <gasps> I couldn't tell if it was a man or a woman. All I noticed were their eyes. Their eyes were open wider than I knew possible. Staring... It's an owl! Me at me okay that's the person i was disturbed enough by this and dropped the pizzas and ran back to my car yep the shitty thing wouldn't start until turning the key for the third time i drove off the grass and back onto the dirt road but i felt the car rocking about shaking and bumping something see man right. that's why you don't deliver in sketchy in wooded areas or like in the forest sound coming from outside there was so much resistance that i couldn't even drive Oh my god. The car came to a stop. I got out of the car to nope. check what the hell was wrong. A chill ran up my spine. Oh my god. As I began to feel like my heart was constantly skipping beats. My tires had been slashed. <gasps> Are you serious, man? Oh jeez. Number one, that cost a lot of money to get that fixed. Number two, run man, jeez. I'm sorry, my tires get slapped. I'm just, I'm just running. I don't care. I'm just like, you know what? My car had a good run. The thing was barely starting anyway. So I'm piecing out of here. This is probably why I'm not a delivery man because I give them one knock. I'd be like, oh, nobody showed up. Okay, I'm out. And then guess what? I'm Mario carting myself up on out of there. And whoever tries to follow me is getting a booty full of turtle shell. All four tires were slashed. Oh. I realized. Somebody did this when I was knocking on the door to that building. You think? Instead of running, I got back in the car and locked the doors. I was so close to that building, what was that? I could practically see it from where I was if it weren't for the trees blocking the view. Whew. I dialed 911 and explained everything to the operator. Smart man. She told me the cops would be over as soon as possible and that I need to stay hidden. Yeah, I not asked in your if car. It was advisable to stay in the car or run. And she told me it would be best to stay in the car with the door locked. Nope. She asked me to stay on the line with her until the cops arrived. My whole body was shaking. In all directions, there was nothing but dark, seemingly endless forest. Like my soul. I knew it would take forever for the cops to get there. Yeah. I was not comfortable with sitting in that car so close to whoever did this. Not today. The next part, though, is what utterly destroyed me. What? It still shakes me to this day, <gasps> and I hope nobody ever has to experience this kind of fear. What is it? As I was scanning all the windows, making sure nobody was outside, I looked in the rearview mirror, <gasps> and there was the same person. <gasps> the same person I saw at that window. <gasps> 
eyes open wider than ever. Oh my god. I could see now that it was a woman. And I could ever so slightly see a smile. Oh no! She's on crack! Gosh dang it, man! This is what happens out in the woods. You get bored, you know, because there's no like movie theater or anything to do out there. So they do drugs. I opened my door and full on sprinted into the woods, yep. not caring how much noise I made. That's what I did. I ran until I was out of breath, which didn't take long, and I hid behind a giant log on the ground. I tried to cover my loud breathing with my hand mm. as I waited and waited for what felt like hours Dang. until I finally heard sirens in the distance. There you go. Okay. I gathered up all the stamina I had left to run all the way back in the direction of the dirt road. <sighs> Eventually, the glowing red and blue lights came into view. Okay. And I had never felt better in my life. Jeez. They were parked in front of my car, investigating with flashlights. I came out yelling at them like a lunatic to help me. I fell to the floor and- Ha <laughs> ha, you tripped. I'm just kidding, it's not funny. They picked me up and began to question me, to which I explained everything to the best of my ability. Mm -hmm. One of the two cars drove over to the building, and the two officers began to search the building. They came back with nothing except what? for a couple of spiky objects. Ugh. These objects were exactly the same as the ones used to slash my tires. The cops guessed that it was some kind of sick, demented couple, being that I saw the woman. Ugh. But unfortunately, they were never found. Aww. And that still kills me to this day. I Man, quit my I ain't job right never delivering that, pizza. Started working at a local grocery store. I know that I'll never forget seeing that woman at the back of my car. She's right there! Oh man, you're being stuck, man! Look at the flick of the look at that! She's right there! It's time to move, man. Time to move to a new place. Just be a YouTuber, man. Just, you know, stay in the comfort of your own home, okay? Dang. I swear, I ain't never ordering pizza or delivering pizza ever, man. Ne never, ever, ever. Oh man, I'm sweating more than a turkey on Thanksgiving. But thank you guys for watching the video. Please, please comment down below your favorite cartoon and click on the screen check out another video because all the cool kids are doing it Woo! but yeah i'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace